Hey everyone, welcome to another foiled booster box opening. Today we're going to be opening Theros Beyond Death, the collector's booster box. And while I open this package up, let me just remind you why I'm doing this. Well, reason number one is it's content and I do actually enjoy opening up sealed product. But more importantly, number two, reason number two is that what I'm going to be doing, and I'm starting that this year, given that this channel started this year, uh, I'm going to be opening up collector's edition booster boxes. Uh, I'm going to be opening up regular booster boxes as well, um, you know, on separate days. And at the end of every year, I'm going to be taking all the cards I open in all of those sets in all those boxes and i'm going to be actually giving them away to patrons so all my patrons the longer your patron the more entries you get and yeah i'm going to be giving away potentially thousands of dollars worth of cards it really depends on what i open in all of these boxes and you have a chance of winning now given that i'm a relatively small channel and i don't have many patrons at all at the moment your odds of winning are pretty high i'm going to be doing the giveaway mid-December basically just before the holidays I'll be shipping everything out so if you win you don't have to do anything else I get your address I ship everything to you boom you're done and you are happier I hope and I'll be happy knowing that you are happy as well so take a look at the patreon link in the description down below sign up for my patreon even if you're not really interested in the giveaway you just want to support the channel I would appreciate that as well and if you're subscribing to my Patreon just because of the giveaway, well, then that works for me as well. At least it gives me a bit more visibility and hopefully you'll like the other content that I give away, uh, the, the other content that I release on this channel as well. So let's start. Let's put, uh, yeah, let's put it down the side. So for the foiled series, I'm gonna be focusing more on packs that are, or, or on sets that are maybe more foil centric. So either all the cards are foil or most of the cards are foil. That's really what my plan is gonna be. And I'm gonna be taking it a bit more easy on these. Taking a look at each card. So as you can see, all these cards are foil. Ooh, I'm gonna the C. Well, that's pretty nice. Little turtle. Soul Guide Lantern, that's a good pull. Still has, it's still, uh, you know, it's holding a pretty good value for what it is. All right, we got our little foil mountain and our foil forest and our first rare. That looks pretty cool. And our extended art, that looks pretty cool as well. And our foil rare. Oh boy, that's actually really nice. Look at that. Let me zoom in a bit here. Look at that. I really like the foiling on this. This was pretty nice. All right. Ooh, our foil mythic. Nylea. That is pretty sweet. I haven't seen this yet, so this is new to me. I know this is probably old news to you guys, but that actually looks pretty sick. Awesome. And we got our token. All right. So I'm a bit disorganized here. Should probably put the rares i'll put all this all the rares on display i don't think i need to put anything else on display let's go up the next pack so we'll go through this a bit quicker all right i'll stop on the foils that i think are Interesting. Those are nice. All 
That's actually pretty sick. So I know black is supposed to be black, but there's actually quite a bit of purple. I think it's a theme that Wizards has been sticking to for a while. So that foiling is really nice. Really nice to see purple foils. Our own common. Our first rare. Galia. It's interesting artwork, actually. Look at that. Looks like they're having fun, right? Thassa's Oracle. This is a card that's not broken, right? I'm sure we can't break this in other formats. Wow. The foiling on this is nice, though. Look at that. I always like it when the foiling is selective like this. Nice, uh, nice little touch there. So Thassa's Oracle. All right. Got a foil on common. Looks pretty sick, actually. And another token. All right. Interesting pack. Remember, you, as a potential patron, have a chance of winning. These and all the other packs I've been opening, I open up VIP edition. All right. That sucks for her. Nice little blue island. Another Colossus. I feel like this is like the previous pack. This is almost literally the previous pack. All right, because uh, this looks like a very similar pattern there. Okay, these are different. Nice little shiny blue. Our favorite shiny purple. Our rare. Our extended art. Our foil rare, idyllic tutor. Oh man, I remember doing casual brewing with this many, 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 many years ago. Ah, uh, so many broken things you can do in casual. And piss off your friends. This is pretty good. This would have been awesome in foil. But I'm not I'm not complaining, but this would have I'm, I can just assume this is just a beautiful foil. There's a non-foil, it's pretty good as well. Can't can't have everything in foil, unfortunately. We got a foil. I think we got it. We got a non-foil in the last pack. Now we got a foil one. All right. Not bad. And our foil token. Cool. Just so you know, I'm oblivious on the uh, on the pricing for a lot of these cards, so I have a relatively good idea. So I mean, if I, I think if I open any bombs, I'm going to know. But for the most part. I am clueless. Oh, that's a nice little print line there. Whoa. I won't be sending this one to you guys. Well, look at that. You see that? That's not cool. Right there. All right. Well, I'm going to put that in the uh, cannon fodder pile. Let's move on. Is this one damaged too? Okay, no, it's not. All right, well, that's good quality control. So yeah, I like opening up packs like this on the foiled series because, I mean, look, most of the cards we're opening are foil. And that's pretty much in line with what I've been doing every Wednesday. I have another foil video that I release. That one's pretty cool. So I think these products are actually pretty cool. I only really plan on opening one of each collector's box. So I'm not going to open many of them. Um, I don't want to be that kind of a channel. Uh, I think there are plenty of channels that do that. But I think one, and especially if it's going to be a patron giveaway. Whoa, that looks sick. Oh man, I don't even think I've seen this one. That's super nice. What a beauty. That looks really, really nice. Wow. Cool. 
Uncommon. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to say I wonder what it looks like foil, but my question has been answered. There it is. Pretty decent. I really like the, I don't know, the styling of these cards. Foil, non-foil, doesn't really matter. It really makes for a nice looking card. And we got our token. All right. Next, let's see if we have any more damage cards in this one. What? Look. Look at that. Looks like the first card. Or a few of them. Okay, the first two in this case. All right, well, I don't want to send you guys damaged cards, so. Although, Jesus, look at the foiling on this. Look at the artwork. Wow. That looks beautiful. It's too bad it's kind of damaged. Whoa. This looks really nice. I like that. But, uh, not happy about the top there, so. I will keep that for the fodder pile. I usually give my little daughter the cards that have no value. Uh, I mean, she's two and a half, so um, she enjoys anything I give her. And they don't. If, if I give them to them, if I give them to her in near mint condition, they don't last in that condition for very long anyway. So don't fret. Okay, we got our island. We got our lands here. All right, we got a common. It's great. All right, our extended art rare. That one looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Another one. Oh, man. I know it's supposed to be black, but that is purple as hell. Look at that. Whew. All right. My our token. All right, we are just about halfway through. I'm gonna start speeding through these. Is this stone damage too? No, no damage. Good, just a print line. Perfect. Just what we were looking for. Wow, that island art is actually pretty sweet. Two lands are rare. That is interesting artwork. What the hell? I know it's a chimera, but all right, that's a thing. All right, we've got a temple. Very nice art. Very, very nice. Would have preferred it in the foil. We've got another mythic foil. Oof. Look at that purple, I mean black god. Look at that black god. That is pretty sweet. And it actually looks like it's uh, packed fresh, so that's always good. Ooh, we got our first planeswalker. She looks like she's a statue. That might be on purpose. We got our first planeswalker. Awesome. Maybe our only one. Ah. Good old Elspeth. All right, got another one. Might build a place out of those, out of all these boxes. Really upset about some of the damaged cards. I expected this to be better. Wow. All right. So I understand why people are pissed off at wizards. Now that I'm opening more and more product. Wow. That looks cool. That looks friggin' cool. All right. 
Look at that demon. That's actually nice foiling. Lands. Alright. We got our mythic. We got our rare. Extended art. We got another foil rare. Very nice. That is freaky. The eyes, are, the eyes are foiled. There we go. The eyes are foiled. A harpy. Alright. We got one of these special things. I, th I think this is our second foil, but that's okay. And a token. So what do you guys think so far? I mean, you tell me because I'm almost certain most of you are better at gauging price, uh, the price of these openings than I am. All right, more damage. Goes in the crap pile. That one looks sweet. Got our first rare. Extended art rare. Looking very cool. Thassa's intervention. Meh. Just mostly nothing. In terms of the foil and the art. Common. Foil uncommon. Very cool. Almost done. No damage on this one. Good. Anyway, let me know of the, f of the format of these openings as well. Curious to hear what you think. Am I going too fast, too slow? I know a lot of people just skip to the rares and mythics. But I figure there's at least some value in looking at all of them. That one looks pretty cool. Reminds me of World of Warcraft for some reason. Alright, common. Ooh, very nice. A foil Mythic Heliod. Look at that. Very cool. Very, very cool. I think we've opened some pretty interesting cards, some pretty interesting foils, that's for sure. Fun. Oh, this is interesting art. It's interesting with this foil, at least. That's pretty cool. You guys see that? That's really nice. I'd have to select the foiling. I like that. All right, we've got a mythic, mythic planeswalker. All right, Elspeth number two. Very cool. Oh yeah. Well, this card I know the value of. We got our extended art Euro, not foil, but it's okay. It's okay. We can live with that. Oh yes. Say what you will about it being banned and worthy and all that. Until it does get banned in modern, I'm gonna be playing it. But that is sick. All right, really happy we opened that. All right, I guess everything kind of pales in comparison now. We got non-foil Heliod, that works for me as well. I think this completes our play set of Renata in foil, but all right, and our token. Last two packs. All right when this pack decides to open. 
boy. This one was a complete fail. Wow. Just wow. It's nice damage. At least on the first card. Kind of uh, upsetting. I mean, yeah, it's the commons that are getting damaged, but still. It's more the principle of it all. Alright. Iron Scale Hydras are rare, number one. Idyllic, Idyllic Tutor Extended Art, non-foil. I think this is the second one we've opened. It looks nice. Nylea, non-foil, mythic. Second one we've opened for sure, our token. All right, last pack. I'm trying to see if there's damage on this pack. Should have paid attention to the other ones. That's what I thought. I'm like, whoa, that card looks different. Looks nice. Alright. Underworld Breach. That looks pretty cool. That artwork's pretty awesome. Oh, that's great. I love it. Idyllic Tudor Extended Art Foil. That looks nice. I am happy to see it. I'm actually very curious what the pricing is on this, because I remember back in the day, even the non-foil cost an arm and a leg. I'm assuming now that it's been reprinted, it's probably tanked in price, but that looks really nice. Awesome. All right, another one. More purple. Looks really good. And a token. All right, so we opened up all the packs. This is what we got in terms of our foil and non-foil rares and mythics. All of this plus all the commons and uncommons will be given away. At the end of the year, I'm going to be splitting them all into equal value piles. I'm going to be giving a pile away to each patron that wins, obviously. And yeah, stay tuned for more. I got more videos to uh, release with other packs. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I would appreciate it. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Everything that you can do, it helps me. It helps other people find the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks and have a good one.